there. Today's subject, rifles. Which rifle? The hunting rifle. If you played Fallout before, you know the hunting rifle. It's been in nearly every Fallout. Pretty much the premise of nearly every one is your basic weapon, the most common thing you've seen. But what's this? You've lost your previous gun? That 50 caliber pole pipe bolt action pistol? Rifle? That thing was pretty expensive, you know. But now you're reloading a gun again. Don't worry. We'll get you armed. And dangerous. Step into the hunting rifle. As I mentioned before, it's one of the most common guns in Fallout. In Fallout 3, it was literally everywhere. You couldn't walk two steps without tripping over one. In Fallout New Vegas, they amped up the firepower of it and made it into a pretty much a sniper rifle. This one's keep uh, similar to the latter. It is, again, more akin to a sniper rifle. And it has all the characteristics of one. Now, this thing is very customizable. To that, if it's been a more customized sniper rifle anyway. As much as you could make it look like a pistol the way it is, it is not a pistol. <laughs> not like the pipe bolt action pistol. This straight up is a rifle. It may not look like it right now, but it will be a rifle soon. The benefits to a hunting rifle are... You naturally come with the 308, which is a plenty powerful ammunition. You got the uh, range, it's already very good. Accuracy right out of the box is extremely well. And it's also very lightweight too. Pretty damn good. Now in the beginning, it doesn't look like much. You only got a small, and it almost looks like a pistol. Almost. But it's not. But we'll, we'll give it a try anyway and see how it does. Now, you might think, this is good, I'll just take this. Well, I can show you the ups and downs of this weapon. Okay, I've already mentioned the good things. Let's talk about some of the bad things coming with a hunting rifle. Some of these should be pretty obvious. First and foremost, it is a bolt action. So you're gonna make every shot count. If you miss, well, the enemy's gonna close that distance very quickly, regardless if they're ghouls or if they're raiders with armored knives and guns. You'll be left exposed if you're not behind cover. Now, another thing, this is not a close quarter weapon. Definitely not. You'll find yourself in a sticky situation very quickly if you decide to fire this at point blank. Because it won't, it's not really reliable. You will not consistently hit your enemies. You can, but there's better guns for the job. So the key is to keep your enemies at a distance, well beyond arm's reach. You don't want them close at all. But we're going to upgrade this weapon. So we'll go to our trusty workbench and work our some magic. But I should mention, the reason why my gun's so damn powerful is I got I maxed out the rifleman perk. So that doubles my damage and ignores 30% of my target's armor. If you like rifles, get this perk. You'll need it. Especially for endgame. Make life easy. So first, as before, it'll go with the barrel. Now, a short barrel may improve hip fire, but to be honest, why would you? You're not using this at point blank here. You're not even using this at close range. We're going to use this only at long range to medium range. So that way, I recommend only a long barrel. You can take a short barrel if you want, but take a long barrel, any of them. But for the sake of me not wasting a hundred lots of resources, I'll take a light, or I mean a long, plain long barrel. <laughs> okay, once we got that equipped, next up we'll go to the stock. Now, we don't want a pistol stock, we want a full stock. Now we can go with a plain full wooden one, or a marksman one. Now the marksman says it aims better with scopes. To be honest, I really couldn't notice a difference. Like it, I just didn't notice anything, no strong difference here. Like it seemed the same. But regardless, I'll make the marksman stock because this looks awesome. Looks like a real nice gun. Now for a magazine, you don't really need a big magazine for this gun. You just, if you're really good with your shooting, which I'm not. You can just take a small or medium. And the bigger a magazine, the more weight you'll be adding to your weapon. So for the for this review, I'll just take the standard large magazine. Now for sights, again, we're using this as a sniper rifle. So we'll take a long sight for all medium and long range encounters. For a muzzle, we could take a compressor or muzzle brake, but to be honest, I think for sniper rifles, suppressors are the best. 
because that way enemies don't know where you are, at least not right away. So you can pop off a few of them without even knowing where you are. And for the receiver, well, surprise, surprise, this, this could take a 50 caliber. Or you can downgrade it to a .38. But why would you do that? So there we go. We turned a plain short hunting rifle that looks shoddy to something truly powerful. This looks like a real good endgame weapon. That you could take with you and not look at, like a total doofus. Or poor. Like a poor beggar. <laughs> but no matter. How does it work though? Well, that's what... So we're going to test it on a few raiders. Be nice and stealthy about it too. Because we don't want them to catch us, and at least not right away. So with our long scope, aiming at this person is pretty easy. He's easily spotted, hold your breath, and pull the trigger, he's down. And his friends don't even know where you are. They may be alerted now that someone's dead, but they don't know where to search for you. So for now, we just repeat the process until they eventually do discover us. Bam. No one down and still no one knows. But eventually when you are discovered, where you choose to be or not, you need to count on your aim. Because then the enemies will start returning fire and then you'll need to aim at them either medium to close range. Close range to switch weapons. But at medium, make the shots count because you still have a bolt action. Maybe powerful, but you're likely to miss. As I do sometimes. M most of the time. <laughs> if that happens, let bats do all the talking. Easy does it. But anyway, that's all. And thanks for watching. Tune in next time for the next weapon.